Hello, and welcome to, or rather welcome back to, Clem. Because I played the demo to this about a year ago and very much enjoyed it, which is why I'm here playing the full game right here, right now. If you want to play the game right here, right now, the links and the details are of course down below in the description, alright? This is going to be a story-driven puzzle adventure game with a dark twist. I'm going to be playing as a ragdoll who wakes up after hearing a voice. The only thing he can do is follow the voice's instructions. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments by the end. This is Clem. Let's wake up. Hey you, wake up and bring me beauty. Uh-huh. So there you go, that's me. That's the ragdoll. That's who we're going to be controlling. Uh-huh. Your legs work? <laughs> that head of yours looks very, very heavy. Okay. Here we are. We're in control. Okay, we've got a book down here. A book that says Clem on it, and I think it's a book of alchemy, right? Okay, so we've got various attributes here. Let's go down to beauty. Butterfly, right, okay, yeah, so I think what we need to do is find a butterfly, and I think we actually did this section in the demo, so let's see how much I remember. Okay, so it's F for the inventory. Uh-huh, there you go, alright. Yeah, someone's written Bring Me Beauty, but it's not my writing. Hmm, very odd. Okay, well, let's see, can we go this way? Mm-mm. I, I suppose I'll be using a key there, won't I? I just have to find that first. Okay, something on the floor there. Look at these barrels. Are they filled with wine? Let's hope so. Right, let's go upstairs. Alright, okay. Uh, hopefully, you know, I haven't been summoned to do the washing up. <laughs> oh, we got something down here. Okay. Right. So... <laughs> I think I'm storing all of my items in my head, which is pretty good. Uh, it's a cruet full of a yellowy green viscous liquid, apparently. Hmm. So it seems we can combine and separate. Are we separating? Combining? No, no, okay. Just thought I'd try. Uh, Alright. Got a door over here. Let's try this one. Okay. Yeah, this is ringing a bell, actually. Right, I think I need another key, don't I? Uh, that one over there, with scratch marks on it? Yeah, okay, locked. There's a hole in the wall down there. Can't seem to do anything with it, though. Let's leave. Alright. Yeah, this was definitely the section from the demo, and I, I vaguely remember how to get the butterfly. Okay, oh, there's a newspaper down here. Can we not have a look? No? Right. I think what I need to do is go and fetch some flowers. Yeah. Okay. The grandfather clock here. Huh. Okay. We can move this around. We've only got the one hand, though. Do we need to find a couple more? Right, so R. Looks like I've just noted that down. Okay. Yeah, it seems like the dining room clock is missing a hand. Just the one hand, then. Okay, so we're just looking for the minute hand. I've got a portrait of a cat up here. And honestly, what looks to be a key on the collar. Is that... Okay, that's something that we're going to be noting down as well. This is all blocked. Mm-mm, definitely not. Okay, we don't note that down. What's that? Hold on. The jar of... All right. Oh, here we go. We're actually getting taught about separating things. Inside, there are lots of pointy sticks that look suspiciously like nails. Yeah. They're like pointy metal sticks. They prick, but they don't hurt. And of course, we've got this empty glass jar. Right. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? Alright. Looks like this painting's been torn a little bit. Is there something underneath it? It doesn't look like it, but... Hmm. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, I'm just noting everything down, it seems. Let's go this way. Ah, okay. Right, another boarded up door over there by the looks of it. What about this one? Can I just <laughs> can I just pour this over the door? Mm-mm. Not gonna work. Okay. Uh there's a book here. Ah. 
Oh, I can see some of the text, but it's really, really faded. Looks like there's an image on the right as well, but yeah, again, very faded. Can't see it. Hmm. Okay. Can I play the piano? I think I can. Very specifically. Okay. I have absolutely no idea at the moment, but uh, maybe we're going to find a clue a little bit later on. Right, what about this one over here? No? Okay. Now, why... Why is this all taped up? Very strange. Alright, so that's blocked. What about the one in the top right, though? That doesn't seem to be blocked. But let me guess, it's locked, right? No? No! Okay. Alright. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay! Yeah, I know you need beauty. I don't have it yet. Okay, I've, I've just started. It was a year ago that I played the game. Leave me alone, all right? <laughs> Leave me alone. I haven't got the butterfly quite yet. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, right, yeah. Let's go out. I think we're going to find the butterfly out here. In fact, there it is. There it is. Okay. So we can close this up. Okay, that's good. Oh, all right. Is that is that the cat's grave? Huh. Um, <laughs> are we burying it with nails? No, we're not. Right, I think we need something else. Right, okay, the butterfly has gone inside. I think I need to trap it inside, don't I? Right. Okay. We also got a... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, close this up. Can I... Okay, now I can use something. Do I need to nail it in? Maybe it's not just the nails. I think I've got the right idea. I just can't do it quite yet. Okay, there's a greenhouse here. Let's enter. Okay. Let's see. I do need some flowers. Maybe one of these? Oh. Oh, there's a little spade down here, a little shovel. That's probably going to be for the cat's grave. And hello, who are you? You're a puzzle. Okay. <laughs> um, so, select three pieces. I think we should have four pieces, though, to make this eye-looking symbol. I'll have to come back a little bit later, I think. Wait right there, would you? Nothing in the foreground? No, it doesn't seem like it. Hmm. How do I use the nails? I think I need to find myself a hammer, right? Combine hammer and nails. Maybe the cat was buried with a hammer. <laughs> Thank you, whoever you are. I think that might be Clem. I just think I... Yeah, I, I found a, a small key with the bones of a dead cat. Right, that's the key that it had on its collar. So it's a small key, probably for a, a drawer or something like that. Hmm. What else have we got out here? Okay, there's a shed. All right. Yeah, I like this. Oh, yes. Can I? Ah. Oh, what did I just pick up? Was that? Oh, it's a nail gun! And here we go. We combine the nail gun with the nails. There you go. <laughs> I can use it to fire nails. That's what it's for, right? Yeah, exactly. That's what it's for. I don't want the axe or the level or anything else, though. Ah. Right. Let's see. No? Okay. There's another one down here. No? Hmm. Some tape, some string, a screwdriver, bolts, nuts. Okay. Alright. Well, hey, we got the nail gun. Um, before I forget, I... Who was that? <laughs> Did you see that? There was someone on the other side of the door. Before I forget, I'm gonna, I'm gonna nail this shut. The butterfly, I think, is still in there, so I want to keep it that way. Okay. Bit of a sloppy job, but I, I guess it, you know, it keeps it closed. Yes, it does. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright. Over here to the right. Oh, entrance to a basement, maybe? It's blocked, though. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, another hole in the tree this time? No? Okay, can't do anything there. Looks like there's a desert in the background. Where the hell are we? <laughs> Alright. Um, let me just go back in here and check that I can't find some bolt cutters or something like that. That'd be useful. I can't grab any of those? No? Right, I think what we need to do is we need to find out where this key goes. 
there was, you know, <laughs> I'm thinking that we maybe need to go back to the kitchen because there was one drawer with a lot of scratch marks on it. Probably claw marks from the cat, right? So, yeah, let's go back this way. I don't think it's going to be to a... to a door. Okay, yeah, let's just set it at fast. I think that's what I had it set to anyway. Right, okay. I did scare the butterfly away because I don't have the flowers right now, but that's okay. It, it shouldn't be able to escape. Alright. So I think... Yeah, it might be... It might be this one on the right. That's what I'm thinking. Yes, okay. And what do we find in here? What was that? A handle. For some reason I know that it's made of brass and mother of pearl, even though I don't know what those things are. Huh, just some strange innate knowledge of it. Dad, I hope that you never open this drawer, because if you do, I'll tell Mum like I did last time, so that she tells you off again. Stop taking my toys! <laughs> okay? Wait, so what was... Oh, that's the piece of metal, that's the fourth part of that puzzle that's in the greenhouse, so I think that's where we should probably go next, right? Okay. Yeah, this is all falling into place. I think I'm remembering this fairly well. So yeah, let's head back out. So yeah, there's no butterfly here. It should be in the next room. It, it shouldn't... it shouldn't be outside again. Yeah, okay, so it's here. Can I kind of, like, chase it back? There you go. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll deal with you later on. There we go. That's about right, isn't it? And then that long one, that's going to get hooked on to the end of this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Just fiddle it around a little bit. All right. Excellent. Thanks, Clem. Right, so let's take that. I guess I'm pretty good at jumping. Uh, right, so it's a round piece of glass. I'm not sure why, but it looks familiar. I think we need to combine here with the handle, right? Yeah, so see? Right, here we go. So this is the lens of truth. You have the lens. Well done. Straight out of Ocarina of Time. And it might work the same, I'm not sure. So this is one of the first toys I made for myself when I started studying magic, witchcraft and alchemy. Through the glass you're able to see things that are invisible to the naked eye. It's really easy to use. All you need to do is look at something through the lens and then move it slowly over the object to discover any hidden secrets. It's only made up of two parts, and it's really only a gadget for beginners, but I'm proud of it anyway because I made it myself, when I'd only just turned five. To make it, I took a piece of quartz and I cleaned it and rubbed it until I could see the light within it that's normally hidden. To transfer my energy to the glass, I needed something metal to grasp the quartz. Luckily, Mum let me use the handle from an old handheld mirror that I found in the attic. When I'm not using the lens, I take it apart and hide the handle in the drawer where we keep things for Bones, the cat, and the crystal in the hand of Thea. Only I know how to move the arm, so Dad won't ever be able to take it from me. <laughs> Very evil sounding laugh there, but yeah, okay, we've got the lens of truth. And I think, honestly, what we probably need to do is use it on the book, right? All that faded text, the faded drawing, maybe I can see it properly using the lens of truth. I have a feeling that when I finish the demo section, uh, my confidence and my speed going through this game is going to quickly diminish. Okay, so space for the lens of truth. Okay. Here we are. I can see symbols gravitating down here by the looks of it. Oh, to an eye. Ah. And over here? Another one? Ah. Oh, it's a pansy. Right, okay. So, is this what we're after? Were there pansies in the greenhouse? I think so, right? These flowers are particularly appealing to all classes of Lepidoptera. Which I think is butterfly, right? That's the Latin name for it. I think I did see them. I think I did see them. One more. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, back to the greenhouse. As quickly as possible, apparently. Yeah, this is me moving fast. I think rather conveniently it's these. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> okay, I don't have to clamber over the rest to get the others at the back. Uh, so, yeah. I think what we should probably do is go back to the sort of dining room area, put them in the vase, and hopefully the butterfly is attracted to it, right? Okay. I like the way the game looks. I like the way it feels. I like the sounds. It's all really quite charming. I know we're taking a sidestep from horror, although there are meant to be some light horror elements in this game. Hope you don't mind, though. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, the butterfly just flew off. It doesn't realize what treats await it in this room. So let's see if we can sort of scare it back. Come on. That's it. Get in there. All right. Okay, it's landed. Right, slowly now. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, that's why we kept hold of the jar. It's pretty, isn't it? It is. What are you planning to do with it exactly? That's what I'm wondering. Right, so we need to go to the the top right, don't we? On the upper floor. Yeah, okay. I think that's where Clem is. She's sort of instructing me and controlling me from her room over here. Alright, alright. How about saying please? Just a thought. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I think, to be honest, that is where the demo ended. Bring me determination. Determination. Yeah, this this is different. I didn't have to do this in the demo. It's now going to be a blind playthrough, and it's going to slow right the fuck down, honestly. Determination. Okay, so, again, we pick up the book. Hmm. Right, so determination's this one over here. So we're looking for a snail this time? Okay. Right, well I suppose again I should probably go outside to, to try and find it. Hold on though, hold on. Okay, I've still got I've, I've still got this, I've still got the note. The note has changed though. Okay. It was like we just reset, that was strange. Hmm. Okay. Right, well, let's go back up here and let's see what else has changed, right? Right. Yeah, I'm still not doing the washing up. <laughs> Anything over here? Uh, no, that's still locked. I think everything remains the same. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go back to the sort of foyer area, I suppose. Anything in the dining room, perhaps? Oh, the boards have disappeared. Right, yeah, okay. So, what's this room? All oh, right, it's a bathroom. And, uh, yeah, there's a there's a little bit of a leak. A leak that I can't seem to get through. Hold on. Uh, I don't know if this is going to help. No, definitely not. Anything in the bath? No? Okay. Anything in the toilet? Is that like a... I don't know, medical supplies or something on the left? Is that what I need to get to? Right, well, we're going to have to come back to this, I think. I think I should maybe go out to the shed and see if I can grab another tool. Right. Okay, so... This way. Oh, this door. This door's now ajar. Right. All right. Never been in here before. Ugh, there's so many locked drawers and doors. Oh, hello again. Right, the lens of truth. Good. All right. Up here. Oh, oh, okay. Hmm. Let's see what I just wrote down about that. I've seen a painting which has a lady in it, just like the one in the greenhouse. When I looked at it through the lens, the painting changed a little bit. I'm going to draw it here. It might be important. Right. Okay. I think we should probably. 
go back outside then, shouldn't we? Hmm. What else have we got though? There's something here. What's that? Oh, it's another special item. A runic key. I'm sure the key will be very useful. I hope so. What's that going to unlock? I don't have a problem closing doors with a spell, but I'm not so good at opening them. Until now. Because finally, I have the runic key. It's like a lockpick, but way cooler because I made it and it has really cool engravings. <laughs> the creation ritual was a bit more difficult than the one I did for the Lens of Truth, but in the end I found all the special items I needed around the house, and it turned out just how I imagined. It's amazing because I managed to get the floating stones to move just how I wanted, without them knocking into each other. When I show it to Mum, she's going to be so impressed. Now I'll be able to create any combination. I need to open doors, drawers, locks. No keyhole in the house will be able to keep me out. Right. Is that the case then? Let's have a look. Okay. Uh, no, that doesn't seem to be working. Let's remove that. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So there's going to be some sort of arrangement to this, isn't there? I guess they've all got to be level, haven't they? So... Is that just a little bit too high? I think that's a little bit too high. Yeah, that fourth one's right, I think. This one... Yep, that's okay. A little bit higher. And then this one. Yeah, those last three are great. It's just this one at the front. Like that? Yeah? It worked! It actually worked! Oh wow. To the most handsome man of the house, and the entire town. I still remember how happy you made me when you said yes to taking that trip around the world with me. It was our first trip together, and it was so special. You'd only just finished your course specialising in phytochemistry, and I still had a few years left of my entomology degree. You didn't want me to miss classes during the three weeks the trip lasted, but when I showed you the quantity of amazing flowers and bugs we were going to discover, I made all your fears disappear. Yes, I know I ended up repeating the year, but we learned so much on that trip, didn't we? <laughs> I was able to see giant beetles, blue-collared bees, and the rarest of butterflies while you were fascinated by the fire lilies, violet uh, anemones, and your beloved pansies. Although I've no doubt that the thing you enjoyed most about the trip were the spirits we had the chance to try, am I right? You should have seen how your eyes shone as you opened each new bottle and you took the chance to explain to me everything you'd learned at university. The rum was the one we liked most, wasn't it? We also really liked the cherry schnapps that we tried near the burning Marble Valley. But we both agreed that the rum from Angel Island was the best of the trip. Oh, and do you remember the herb liqueur that they gave us in Misty Mountain? We only took one sip because of how little we liked it. It was awful! What else did we try? Ah yes, in Labyrinth Seas they gave us a bottle of gin and on that trip to Mystic Cave we tried the local whiskey. I remember that the one we liked most was the one that we drank on the cliff top, watching the little boats heading out to sea from the river. The other one was tasty too, but the best thing about it was that we drank it surrounded by fireflies just before bed. Such a beautiful moment. It's been ten years since that trip, and to mark the occasion, I've decided to prepare a surprise for you. I don't want to just give it to you. I'd prefer that we play a bit and you discover it for yourself. Given that you're nearly as intelligent as me, I'm sure it won't take you long to solve the riddle. So. Here we go, okay? Distill our memories and you'll find the key that will take us to our new sanctuary. Well, have you got it yet? Come on, it's not that difficult. Ah, by the way, Clem helped me prepare the game. She said that if you need a clue, you can ask her and she'll help you with one of her toys, but that in exchange, you'll have to stop taking them away from her. Seems like a good deal to me. Great, you've got some distilling to do. I'll be waiting for you in the sanctuary. Don't take too long. That's Cat. Clem's mother, I guess. Right, so I've just noted all that down. Okay, so the the emboldened bits, like Burning Marble Valley, Angel Island, Misty Mountain, Labyrinth Seas, Mystic Cave, that seems really important. Is there something else in there? Oh, okay, 2nd of September. I've just realised that Dad took away all my toys while I was at camp. Well, tonight I'm going to take them back and hide them where no one will find them. The 3rd of September. I've hidden all the toys, but I nearly got caught. While I was in the study, I thought I heard footsteps, and because I didn't have the teleport charm, I had to quickly carry out a ritual to close the door to stop Dad from catching me. 
With this spell in place, the study door will close behind me every time I enter, and only open again if I disappear from the room or if I use some green books from my dad's library to form the symbol for temperance. At first I tried to do it with discretion, but I got nervous because of the footsteps, and I didn't do it right. I think I moved something on the other side of the door though. Anyway, in the end nothing happened and dad didn't catch me. I haven't undone the spell in case I need it again. 6th of September I don't think I'm going to have everything I need to start my project just with mum's books, so tomorrow night I'll close myself in dad's study and take a look at the botanical encyclopedias. I'm sure I'll find something interesting. Wow, okay, there's going to be a lot of reading, isn't there? <laughs> What's this? Oh? Okay. That'll be the, the three of them. The family. We're taking that as well? Yes, we are. Is that going to be relevant? It might be. I mean, it's in this sort of puzzle section of the book, so probably. Maybe green, purple, red? Hmm. Something like that. Ah. Okay. Oh, this would be the Misty Mountain, right? Would that be the Cherry Schnapps? Labyrinth? That island one? All oh, right, okay. So we can move them. Okay, we can move them around. Okay, I'll uh, I'll have to do that in a sec. I'll have to have a look at the notebook though to remind myself. Okay, something here. Right. Again, I think I'm gonna have have a look at the notebook. <laughs> Yeah. If I use some green books from my dad's library to form the symbol for temperance, or discretion, potentially. Temperance and discretion. Right, hold on. Uh, skip section? Temperance. Temperance and discretion. So these symbols? Right. Okay. Hmm. I can't use the lens of truth for anything here. So we just pull these out. Okay. Right, what about down here? I'll come back to that. Mm -mm. Oh, we're actually blocked in, are we? Oh, right, okay. Oh, this is serious. Okay, well, I... I guess I need to figure this out right here, right now then, don't I? Right, okay, I need to see if I can replicate that pattern in the books. So, okay, so yeah, no, we, we do want the, the ones at the bottom out, I think, don't we? And then there's ones in the corner, and then... That's it! That's it! Ooh! Ooh! I heard something move as well. But we're still blocked mm -hmm. in. Right, okay. Oh, you know, the other symbol, that's above the... Yeah, right, okay, the other symbol's above the door. It's like a cross. Okay, so... Uh, whatever that was has just moved back. The piano, maybe? It sounded heavy. Right, okay. It's gotta be like that. Is it five books like the other one? That's it, that's it. There you go, that's the cross. Is that gonna open the door? Okay. So we can freely go back and forth now? Hmm, okay. I'll leave it like that. I need to sort this out now. Can I get surrounded by fireflies? Okay, hold on. I'm, I might be able to piece this together now. So let's move that one over there. Let's move that one all the way down there. Um, it might be... Move that one around. Is that, oh, is that it? Okay, okay! Ah, oh, Thank you, Clem! Thank you! Right. Yeah, I was wondering about this. I was kind of surprised that I couldn't use it, but right, that's why. That... was that the... That's the orb that I see that woman holding, right? Yeah, it's very heavy, very shiny. Well, now that we've got ourselves out of here... Maybe... Maybe we can go and take it to her outside in the greenhouse, right? Although with that key, there's many other places I could go, right? There's a there's a couple of drawers in that shed, right? After this, we're gonna go and just explore. I'm liking this. <laughs> I hope you are as well. It's been a while since I've played an adventure game like this. Right. This? Okay. Wonderful. 
Oh. Oh, she moves to the side. Oh, there's an opening back there. I didn't realize. Right, let's see. Okay. Nice little garden area. Little pond. Oh. Um, there seems to be a problem with the pipe. And it's not the only problem with the pipes, is it? Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. Don't know what that's for, but yeah. Not there, I guess. Okay. I'll just leave it. Yeah, nothing seems to be working, at least at the moment. Doesn't really matter what setting I put on it. I guess that would just be water pressure, right? But maybe it's because of this. Yeah. I might have to come back a little bit later on. I think I need to fix the pipe, or pipes, really. And honestly, I might find something to do that in the shed. Now that I've got that runic key, I should be able to get in those drawers, right? So let's pop back in here again. Oh. That wasn't there before. A screwdriver? That was what it was, wasn't it? A screwdriver. An extremely hard metal wand with a <laughs> with a plastic handle. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this ragdoll sees it through very strange eyes. So, right, that's... That's been destroyed. It's been, like, broken. Right, this one, though? Wait, how do you use the key again? Oh, we just automatically used the key. Okay, cool. Right, so... The first two need to go up a few times. Like that. Bit more. That's it. Okay, and then... Third one, I think, down one. And then... Three. Oh, no, I think that one's maybe a little bit too high. There you go. Perfect! Oh, that, I think, might be... Yeah, that's the handle, the little knob for the shut-off valve. Yes, okay, cool. So that's going to go in the bathroom area. Yes. Nice. Nice. All right, so, yeah, back this way. Let's see, has the leak got any worse? I mean, <laughs> it is still spraying away in here, I suppose. Oh, bloody hell. Not for long, though, not for long. Right, let's put this knob on. And give it a twist. Right, okay. So we're not going to get soaked. We can go over to the sink, and I think more importantly, this box. What was that, tape? Adhesive tape. A long roll of sticky fabric. Okay. Right. Let's see, let's see. Where else can we go? I actually just want to keep on using the key. So it's back this way, I think? There was another drawer that I could maybe use over here, right? Yeah, this one. Okay. Right. Something like that? Okay. Oh, what? Oh, the, the springs are different, right. So it's moved it back down. Okay, I actually kind of had it right, though, briefly, because it moved it down. So if I just push it all the way up like this, if I just time it right. Hey, there you go. You twist at the right time. That seems to work. So, wh sorry, what was that? A strainer. Like a big spoon, but you couldn't eat soup with it. Okay. Is that useful? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay. That was, uh... Okay, I thought there was a draw here, actually, but no. Okay, Lens of Truth is an option, though. Oh. Ooh, hang on. Something down here? Another eye. And another one? Oh, oh, this is the clue for the, <laughs> the, the piano puzzle. But to be honest, it's actually just confusing me more. There's various symbols. Are they the alchemical symbols that you see? Oh, okay, hold on. Right. Yeah, some of the keys have symbols on them, like the ones from the first pages of this notebook, but the small ones don't have anything. So, if I want to do something with the piano, I probably need to keep searching. So we need to find out what the symbols for the black notes as well. Bloody hell, okay. Alright, okay. Maybe I should just be looking at everything. 
with the lens of truth, you know? In fact, can I look at the piano with the lens of truth? No. But yeah, we do have an option to play these keys, don't we? So, hmm. This one over here? Okay, this looks like a fairly simple one. That's it! Nice! Okay, so, into another room. Okay, we've got a, a Henry Hoover here by the looks of it. Alright. Henry? Did, don't look away from me! I saw you looking! What did I just pick up there? It's a can. Okay. <laughs> by cartonade? No. By cartonade? By carbonate? Yeah, by carbonate of soda or something? Royal powder. Whatever. It's empty. It's empty. Okay. Um, sure. Anything else? Doesn't seem like it does it. Uh, it there's something going on with this Hoover. <laughs> okay. Right. The tape... Right, yeah, the tape I think I might be able to use on the pipe. Okay. Wait. I can look at this and I can change this. Oh, it <laughs> Okay, alright, now that I've done that... Now that I've done that, um, with the screwdriver, it's actually working, so I can actually shut the water off? Okay. Okay, now I can use something. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the tape? Really? That works? Curious. Okay, well, let's put the water on, shall we? Okay, that just... That just knocks it straight off. Maybe the pressure was too much? So we put it down to like that? Oh, there you go. It's a nice little water feature now. <laughs> I'm going to need to turn the water off through that again, though, aren't I? Okay, so put that there. I won't put the pressure up too much. But it's still going to knock it off. It, do we need to use that with the tape? Hold on. We can combine. Jesus, it's working. Okay. It's still just like a big spoon that you couldn't use to eat soup, but now it's sticky. <laughs> okay. Uh, we don't combine it further, it seems. Well, that's okay. That's all right. Right, so put that down. Okay. Crank it up, and it, it shouldn't actually... Okay, no. Right, okay. We've still got a bit of an issue here. So I can put that down. Let's try it at like half pressure again, like that. Okay, now it's... I see. Okay, does that do anything though? I don't know. I'm a little bit stumped, I've got to be honest. Ah, okay. What snails like most is to soak up the sun after a gentle rainfall. Which is, I suppose, what I'm kind of simulating. The water going through the strainer. So after a gentle... Right, so if we just... Yeah, turn that off. Okay. There he is! Brilliant. Okay. I suppose we're going to use that container, aren't we? With... Right. Right, right. Okay. Let's try this again. There you go. Okay. So hopefully there's another snail. Oh, I can. I, I think I can actually see one on the the left sort of frond there. Uh, yeah, there is another snail back there. We've got to scare away the bird, right? Or just blast it. Okay. Yeah. Out it comes. You enjoying yourself, buddy? Right. You're gonna go in there, I think. Okay! I need that. I know, I know. I'm gonna bring it to you. If you could be a little bit more polite to me, that would be very nice. Especially considering all the hard work that I'm putting in. Still don't really know why you can't do this yourself. 
<laughs> but right, we've given her beauty, we're about to give her determination, but I don't think that's going to be the end of it, do you? I don't know what she needs this for. Right, yeah, just like before, I just hand it to her at the door. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, please. Use the word, please. Manners, young lady. Here we are, then. Okay. And now, bring me intelligence. Intelligence? We need intelligence. Okay, so again, we wake up in the basement. We're going to be taking this. Right, intelligence. Where's that? At the bottom. A spider! So we're looking for a spider! Okay, again, I should probably start looking outside. They're the best to get rid of mosquitoes. Have we seen mosquitoes around here? Maybe if I find mosquitoes, I'll find them. Hmm. Okay. You know, I just had a thought. Does yeah, the runic key's gonna work here as well! Ahaha! Alright, didn't think about this last time. Like that? Nice. Okay, so, another section of the basement. Okay. What's this? Wine? I think it is, isn't it? Alright. We're just storing the wine bottles up here? Okay. Looks like there's one missing. Unless it's, I don't know. No, I can't seem to pull the handles. I guess they're not in there. Right. Do I need to put them on the shelves, or arrange them at the bottom in a certain order? I don't know. I don't know. Not yet, anyway. Maybe maybe at a certain point I will know. Cool. Alright, let's leave, and let's explore. Let's see what else has changed. Maybe I'm going to find another use for that runic key. I'm very curious about the symbol on the floor. It's kind of strange that I can't look at it, inspect it. Okay, I think these guys are flies, not mosquitoes. But hey, there might be there might be a spider around. Right, let's go this way then. Okay. So let's go check the bathroom. You know what? There might be a spider in the bath. This might be a really easy one. No. <laughs> Bugger. Okay. Uh doesn't look like anything's doesn't really look like anything's changed in here. Let's go out to the lobby area, shall we? Okay. Did you see that shadow? That, hang on, there's someone outside. There is someone outside. Hmm. Right. They went from left to right, so they must have gone this way. Towards the shed. Or towards that other basement entrance. Anything? Okay, I don't want to pick up any new tools this time. Hmm. Yeah, maybe they went beyond this. Through this gate. Ah, the chain's gone! Oh, the axe! Oh, I can't pick up the axe, but hold on. Right, I can use these. We're going down. Okay. What's this? Would that be one of her toys? It looks like a worm with its eyes closed, wearing a little hat. It reminds me a little bit of me. <laughs> okay. Skeletor up there, I think I see. What else? Playing in the wine library. Okay. We challenge you to guess how you should store your bottles of wine. Anything over here? Hmm. Oh, there is! Okay, any more? I'm getting closer. There's another one. There you go. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, now now we don't need to... Uh, 
we don't need to wait for the next issue by the looks of it. So there's Young, Crianza, Reserva, Grand Reserva. For whatever reason, they need to be in a specific order. So the green ones have to be diagonal. The, the blue ones, Crianza, they have to be in like a square shape. Then the, the yellow ones in, in an L shape. And then this red one. The wines can be placed anywhere in the rack. Okay, right, so... Cool. Cool. Okay, well, we can probably sort that puzzle out now. Okay, so I've made a note of that. That's good. So I don't need to go through all the, the additional ones. Okay, hold on. There is something here. And this is definitely a puzzle, isn't it? Okay... Hmm. So we got moons and suns. You can't press down the ones that are already pressed down because, of course, you can't. So they go from up, down, left, and right to diagonal when they're pressed as well. It also looks like the moons need to be down and the suns need to be up. But yeah, okay. Oh, bloody hell. This is going to be awkward as hell. There you go. <laughs> I had to chase that around a little bit, but thank you very much. Right, inside we've got a note. Hello, Clem. If you're reading this, then you're looking for your charm. I'm sorry, but it's not here anymore. I've told you a thousand times that I can't stand it when you disappear while I'm talking to you. So I'll keep hold of it until you grow up a bit. Maybe get out of the house for some fresh air. That way you might even make some friends. Thanks, Dad. Isn't that another... I think that might have been another bottle. It, okay, I knew there was something missing. There was one bottle of wine missing. Okay, so... Well, I'm glad I stuck around to do that. Maybe we should go back to the basement and sort that out. Doesn't look like there's anything else to do here, so yeah, let's go back upstairs. I have another question. Who did that? Who picked up the axe? Was it Mum? Was it Dad? Was it Clem? Hmm. It did look quite small when I saw the shadow. I don't know. Let's go in this area again. Let's see what's changed. Okay. Any more prompts? Anything to pick up? I can still go beyond the statue by the looks of it. So back here. Any more snails? Oh, there's a, there's a dragonfly this time. Can we change this? Nope. Oh boy, okay. Um, the water bill isn't going to be great. <laughs> there you go, okay. So, what exactly did we need to do? So the green, yeah, the green need to be diagonal. The blue need to be in a square. The yellow in an L. The red doesn't really matter, does it? Okay. Um... Does it need to be an L in that specific shape? Because I'm thinking I'm going to put the yellows there. And then I could put... Right. Oh, this is a bit of a bugger, actually. Uh, we need to do it in this order as well, I suppose. Although it might be better... Hold on, I'm just going to put them all out here. Okay. And then I'm going to leave the red till last. Like that. Then do all the yellows. That'd be bloody hilarious, by the way, if that was the right combination, just like that. Okay, so now we've got the greens all in order. So we do the greens first. I, I, I think the yellow should go here. Right. I, I, I think this is going to work, actually. If I put the, the greens... Here. Let's put the yellows there. This is it. This is it. Okay, so we make a box out of the blue, and then the red one goes there. There might be another arrangement, but that does seem to work. Brilliant. Excellent. Thank you. So what's this? I don't think it's a spider. It's a little wooden box. It must have something in it, because it weighs more than I expected. Okay, we separate, we unlock it, we find a teleport charm. Ooh, you found the charm. It's amazing. You'll see. Okay. So we can teleport? 
This house is huge. When I need to search for the ingredients for my rituals, I have to wander through loads of rooms, up and down stairs, across the garden. I'm sick of it. I need something to help me get around quicker, and which doesn't tire me out. Thinking about that has reminded me of my favourite series, Full Iron Alchemist. When they're in a jam, Edgar and Alfred are able to make things appear by drawing transmutation circles on the floor. I wonder if I could do something like that and use the circles to appear wherever I want. That's what they are. Right. Of course I can, she says. I've drawn various circles around the house, and to enable me to use them, I've made myself a teleport charm out of a silver medallion and a few amethyst crystals to concentrate energy. If a few days go by without using them, the portals deactivate, but I can reactivate them by approaching them with the charm. Once the portals are active, teleporting is as easy as tossing the charm up in the air, and I'll appear in the portal of my choice. Very cool! Left control to use, apparently. Okay. Right, so I think... <laughs> I think uh, this down here, this is a transmutation circle. Not from Full Metal Alchemist, but from Full Iron Alchemist. Oh, look at that! Oh, it is a big house, you know. Yeah, and it looks like there's still quite a few places we have yet to go. Uh, okay, so I can teleport back here. Don't know how useful that is, but right, I'm going to keep my eye out for any more of those and see if I can activate them around the house. Uh, let's see, let's go back this way. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just scanning the floor now. <laughs> There's actually one here, in the lobby area. There you go. Okay. So... So, what happens if I choose to teleport right here? Nothing happens. Okay. What if I teleport back to the basement? Wow! Okay. That looked pretty cool. And then I'm rebuilt on the other side. There you go, guys. The future of travel. <laughs> All you need is a ring and a transmutation circle. I understand why we got this. I understand why we got this. It's so we can get through this door. It's so we can get through this door with the right arrangement of books. Because this is... Yeah, this has just locked us in. Ah, uh, so what was it? It was like a V. It was a V on a horizontal line at the bottom, wasn't it? So, I think it was these three, and then the ones in the corners. Like that? Yes! Something moved! Something moved just outside in the lobby, but I couldn't... I couldn't access it. It's moving again. Okay. Right. So, now, left control. Out here? We don't need to use the door. Ah! Oh, it was a secret door opening. Oh, okay, all right, I'm in. <laughs> okay, so where's this gonna take us? Oh dear, the fuck is this? I found a dungeon by the looks of it, or is it a crypt? There is the spider though. I Maybe I should have brought a net down here or something? I don't know. Can we not open any of these? No? Hmm. Okay. Mm -mm. No? I note that I'm keeping the box. Maybe I'm keeping that for the spider. We've also got a boot. Just a boot? Yeah, it's, it's a big and red shoe. The smell is strong. Okay. Yeah, now it's empty. That's probably going to be for the spider. Seems like we do... We always carry some sort of box or jar or something like that, right? Okay. We can't use any of the weapons, unfortunately. Any of the torture devices. We might be able to open this Iron Maiden, though. Right, two and... Two and three are gonna be awkward. One, two, three, four, five, six... Yes! There you go, I got it! Alright. So, inside... Dad? What are you doing there? Oh boy. I did say this game had light horror elements, right? Uh, Clem's dad is dead. What's this? Cat, don't get mad, but I've got myself trapped inside this thing, running away from a stupid spider, and now I can't get out. You'll be thinking that I shouldn't have come down here, but I saw a secret entrance and thought that Clem would be down here, getting up to something. Anyway, I, I don't know who I've been trying to fool. It's not Clem's fault. It's never been her fault. After all this time, I still haven't worked out how to be a good dad, and without you, I've lost all hope. 
Lately, I'm finding it even harder to talk to her. When she came back from camp, I did what you said. I told her what had happened, but when I looked at her... She was smiling, Kat. I don't know why, but she was smiling. And then she ran off, locked herself in her room, and has hardly come out since. My love, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help her. I thought about giving her the letter, even though it wasn't finished, but I couldn't. Not that it matters, because I'm probably going to die here. I'm scared, Kat. Clem's upstairs, and she can't hear the cries of her useless dad. I failed you. I failed you both. Clem, I don't think you'll ever get to read this, but I'd really like for you to know that although I've never known how to show it, I've always loved you very much. I'm sorry. Wow. That's heavier than I was expecting. Okay, so Dad's dead and something happened to Mum as well. Right. Seems like we can't get to that bottle of wine. There's nowhere to put it, anyway. Right. Can we not get out of here? I guess we can't. Well, yes we can. Of course we can, with this teleportation ring. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. Um, okay, so the door remains open. I don't, I don't want to go back into that sort of study area, because that's going to sort of automatically close the door, I think. We still haven't found the, the, the sort of, well not the black keys, but the white keys, the sharp keys and stuff, right, have we? So, hmm. We've been in here yet? There it is. There it is. Ah, 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 ah! Okay, now I can use something. Crawl into the box, would you? Or into the shoe? Okay, what about a toy? Okay, what else we got? <laughs> the screwdriver. Fuck me. Oh! Okay. Right, I've been holding on to that for a long, long time. You're looking at me again. Don't you look away! <laughs> right. Okay, okay. It must have crawled back down to the basement area, right? Or the, the dungeon area. It, okay. Here we go. Oh, look. It's slipping on its own web. Oh, there you go. Ha <laughs> ha! go get it. Okay. Well, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you skittery little bastard. Come. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Yes! You have it. Don't you? I do. I do. I found intelligence. <laughs> it's taken a while. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're going to go and take intelligence over to her and see if there's anything else to do. I'm sure there is, because there's still more of the house to explore. Right. Yeah, maybe she's acting in this way because mum's gone and well, the dad has as well, obviously. She's always very demanding, isn't she? Right. Sorry, buddy. I don't know. I don't know what fate awaits you. is this one going to be? There's a lot of symbols in the book. Are we going to find all of them? Surely not. Bring me strength. 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 Okay, so yeah, again. We're waking up in the basement. There's the book ahead of us. Strength. Okay, so is it going to be another, another bug, another insect? Strength, where's that? Okay, the fourth one down. A beetle! Okay, yeah, cool. Uh, I'm just sort of scanning through this looking for anything notable. The large, territorial, use their horns to defend. Mm, okay. <laughs> Ancient alchemists used their beetle shell amulets to lift the rocks used to build their monuments. So it wasn't aliens then? No, apparently not. Okay. Right, so, let's just go through all of this again and see what's changed. Doesn't look like there's anything here, so let's back away. What about up the stairs? What about in the kitchen? Uh, nothing here? No? Hmm, no, don't think 
so. Okay. Now we're going back to the dining area. We're going to go check out the bathroom as well. We still haven't found the uh, the hand, have we, for that clock? I guess that's going to be coming up at some point. Doesn't seem like anything has changed in here. Okay, so to the lobby. We might be going outside again. Chances are I will find a beetle outside, right? Oh, hold on. This has changed. The, the boards have been removed from that door up here. Yeah? We're going in. Okay, here we go. New area. All right. Let's see then. Oh, is that... Is that the time? So it needs to be 11.20, does it? Lens of truth? Oh. Oh, hold on. Wait, is there more? There's more, but... What? Oh boy. Every time I get the Lens of Truth out, I kind of regret it. <laughs> um, are these some of the symbols that we saw on the piano? I don't think so. They're all numbers. Oh god, okay. Well, I've noted that down. Yeah. I think it makes sense to arrange the rows of circles like this. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, if you say so. So it looks like we got... We've got two doors here. I can take this, though, whatever it is. Is that a dream catcher? It is a dream catcher. Some wooden sticks tied together with string and a little pink crystal in the middle. Ah. Can we separate that? No? Oh, okay. Right. Let's see. Which way? This way. Okay. I assume this is Clem's bedroom. To be honest, I, I thought that's where she was, so, okay. What's this? It's a pencil. With a, a gemstone screwed into the end that doesn't draw. Ah, we can separate this. Okay. Right, alright. So we got the pencil, we got the gemstone separately. Curious. Okay. Uh huh. Wait, that's the, uh. Isn't that. Hold on. Um, it's that, isn't it? So that's step one. I guess I've done step one. Step two is a cog. Three is a spring. Four, that looks like that bowl, that sort of basin or font that I saw down in the dungeon. That's the truth. Oh, here we go again. What is it this time? Marvin. Marvin, okay, Marvin. Yeah, okay, so that's basement. The cog. The cog has something to do with the, the time, the clock, maybe? Ah, we've got the other keys on the piano now. Wisdom. Um, I'm not so sure about four, although I think I've seen that in the in the dungeon, but okay. Wisdom? Was that? Hold on, oh boy. Right, let's just go back to the, the very beginning here. Is wisdom an attribute? It is, it is. It's at the very bottom right. So it's like an upside-down sort of ring. So, oh my god. Wisdom. Yeah, okay. I can see... I can see two wisdom symbols on that left key. In the middle, there's three. And I... I wouldn't be surprised if there's more. Oh, it's around here somewhere, isn't it? Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, only the one. So we only need to use one of those keys. Just three keys in total, I guess? Okay. That might be a shout, going down there and, and using that. Okay. What else have we got? Okay. 16th of July. I want to create a new magic toy, but I can't think of anything. I've got the lens, the key, the top hat, and the charm. The top hat? What? There's a top hat? Okay. What can I do now? Hmm. Well, tonight I'll go to the treehouse and see if I get inspired. There's a treehouse as well? Alright. 21st of July. Today I'm seven, and as a gift, Mum and Dad have said that I can go to the Alchemy and Bugs camp. It's gonna be so cool! Mum's told me that Dad doesn't know that it's an alchemy camp, and that he thinks it's just to study bugs. 
We have to keep it a secret so that he doesn't get angry. Mum's cool. Dad's a pain. <laughs> okay, 29th of July. I can't sleep because camp starts tomorrow. 27th of August. I'm back from camp, but Mum's not here. Dad says that she's gone and can't come back. I don't understand why, but it doesn't matter because I've had an amazing idea, and soon we'll be able to be together again. I'm sure Mum will be really happy. I've got to plan the new project to perfection, so I can't continue with Marvin right now. I've only got a tiny bit left, but I can come back to it later. 9th of September. I think Dad's been in my room again because I can't find the runic key, and I bet he's been looking at my notes. I'm so fed up. He's got his plants and his wines and Mum's got her bugs. Why can't I have my magic toys? Anyway, I'm going to take some things to Mum's lab. Dad's terrified of bugs. There's no way he'll go in there. 21st of September. I want to make loads of combinations, so I'll need to create loads of homunculi. I think I'll put them to good use by sending them out to search for all the attributes I need. So that's what I am? This ragdoll's... Uh, homunculus? <sighs> right. It's been days since I've seen or heard Dad. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't need him anyway. 3rd of October. I've got the pendant. Now I can start. Right. So she's in her mum's lab? Right, that's I think where I keep taking the bugs to. Okay, we've noted all that down as well. Okay, there's something here as well. Oh, this is the camp, is it? Alchemy and Arthropods with Sandro, the awesome master of divinations and... <laughs> I recognize that number! 0118999 Eight eight one nine 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 one one nine seven two five three. <laughs> We've got a fan of the IT crowd in the dev team. Okay, cool, cool. I don't know if I could actually dial that number, can I? That'd be nice. <laughs> that probably seemed very strange if uh, if you haven't seen the IT crowd. Okay, we've got another we've got another circle on the floor here, which is good. Another place to teleport to. Right, there's another door over here. Another room? Yeah, another room, another bedroom. And another spilt bottle of wine. What else have we got then? Is that perfume? Uh, yeah, a strangely shaped small bottle. It's empty, but it smells good. Okay. Hmm, alright. Maybe that's where we're going to put the beetle. Because there's always something, isn't there? All right. Oh, you can see the snail in the background. Yeah, that's that's in the sort of secret garden area. Was it called the sanctuary earlier? I think they called it a sanctuary. That pendant. That one that Mum's wearing. Is that the one she was talking about a moment ago? Yeah, okay. Oh? Oh, I didn't notice there was a drawer I could open here. Oh, okay. So... Right, I think I get it. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, there we go. <laughs> that was a tough lock, but inside we... Oh. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, that's that's the other hand, isn't it? That's the minute hand? Yeah, a small metal arrow. Okay. Okay. So, what do I tackle first? Is it going to be the piano? Or is it going to be the clock? I think it's going to be the piano because this intimidates me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, back down here. How lazy am I? <laughs> I could have gone through the door. Right, okay, so there's only a few keys that I think I need to focus on, but I'm going to need to have a look. So there's that. That one there has only got the one symbol on it. Okay, so there's three symbols, two symbols. And then somewhere over here, we've got 
one more symbol. So is it three, two, one, one, two, three? Or do I need to hit that once, the other twice, then three times for the other one? I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and do it in order and just do it like one, two, three, honestly. So it's gonna be one, two, three. That's it, that must be it. Okay. Right, right, okay. I think that's going to be the spring then, isn't it? Great, great, okay. So, we're gonna leave that playing by itself, apparently. We're gonna go over here, and we're gonna see if we can maybe fix the clock as well, because I think we need a cog or something, don't we? A gear. Okay, so... Oh boy, okay, right. That's a little bit like I, I saw in the notebook. Hold on. Yeah. So, is that a... Is that some sort of combination? What is it? 11... 11... 20. That's what I saw in the painting, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Although it seems we can be very, very specific and do it you know, minute by minute. <sighs> That's a time, isn't it? I think they might all be times. Wow, okay. So we just need to put these symbols together, I think. The 100, 200, 300, would that be like 1, 2, 3, 4 a.m., p.m.? You know? <sighs> Potentially. Okay. I'm gonna have to go back and forth quite a lot just to try and figure this out, but I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay, this one looks like 400, 30, and 9. So, f is it, hang on, is it 439? So, that? Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. I think I get this. So now we need to do the second one and then finally the third one. So the second one, oh boy, okay. That, I think, is a combination of 720 and 1. 721. 721. Hold on. 721. So let's go 721. We've got the second one. I get it. Okay. <laughs> God damn. Uh, so this third one... Hmm. This only makes sense if you add the thousand in as well, because there's that left bit. Okay. So combining that all together, it's 1,156. So 11, okay, we're going to try 1156 here. Like that. Like that. Right, so this is going to be a gear, a cog or something, right? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Brilliant. So, hold on, hold on. So, there was the... It's this doll, right? Presumably we need to combine these things. Okay, so yeah, the cog goes inside it, and then the spring as well? Yeah. It reminds me a bit of me. <laughs> sure. And then step four was like... Step four was that basin, that font in the dungeon, wasn't it? So I think that's probably where we need to go. So let's go down there. <sighs> okay. That that took me a little while. I had to go back and forth a lot. I, I think I might have worn out my R key opening the notebook so much. <sighs> okay, again, I'm trapped in, but not for long. Yeah, okay, so let's put this in. Yeah? <laughs> Marvin the Marble! Can I? I actually have no idea, but okay. When they bought this house, Mum and Dad found a comet while they were cleaning and organizing things. It's called The Adventures of Marvin the Marble, and Mum and I love it, which is why we read it together every night before we go to sleep. The main character is called Mara, and she's a girl that spends her time searching for relics and catacombs. 
One day, she discovers a mysterious source of water, but she trips, falls in, and becomes Marvin the Marble. Marvin is a small insect that can turn itself into a ball and roll. From that moment on, Mara, as Marvin, has loads of adventures discovering places that she couldn't get to before. Tonight, I came to the treehouse, and before I went to sleep, I read the comic on my own. Recently, Mum always says that she's really tired and needs to sleep. It's sad. She was ill, wasn't she? That's when I thought about how cool it would be if I could make myself small and go places I couldn't go to before. I reckon there's a ritual I can perform to gain the power to transform myself into Marvin too. I'm going to sleep now, but tomorrow I'll make a list of ingredients. Right, well, that's what we have a look at on the blackboard, and that's how we got this. So... Tiny clam. Yeah, so we're gonna... We're gonna make ourselves small? How's this gonna work? Hold on, hold on. There's, <laughs> there's a couple of places that I want to go. There's a couple of places that I want to go. Where have I been seeing all the holes? Because there have been quite a few of them, right? Alright, so this... Ah, oh, we can use this now! Oh, wow. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, okay, we're getting like a, a, a top-down perspective, I, I guess. Right, okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can move- Oh, we're gonna nudge this out the way. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Nice job, Marvin. Okay, we're gonna be doing the same kind of thing here. Let's see, is that enough? That looks like it's enough. Okay, we're gonna go over to the right. <laughs> I like this game a great deal. Yeah, it's not really scratching the horror itch, but it's certainly scratching the puzzle game itch. Okay, let's just uh, move this over to the right, and I should be able to go through. Yeah, I, I think that gap's enough, isn't it? Yeah, perfect, perfect. Alright, so... We'll move that all the way over here. That's going to open the way forward. Yeah, just about. Nice. Okay. Where are we going? Where, where, <laughs> where's this going to take us? Oh. Oh, I can't go that way. Hold on. Yeah, that's more like it. Alright. Uh... Okay, alright. Hold on. If I move that up... We can go down and around. We can go down and around. There you go. Alright. Is there an end to this? <laughs> Not yet. Okay, can't move that. No, I can't move that at all, actually. Let's see. This is a big area. Okay, we can just move that out of the way. And now I should be able to move this up, right? There you go, there you go. I could probably move it a little bit further, actually, if I wanted to. Um, uh... Ah, that's a bit of a bugger. If we just move that one to the right... Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> I think I I think I know what I need to do. With that gap, yeah, I think I understand. Okay, if I move this all the way to the right, and I move this down... Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Right, I think... Can that go on the right side? It can. It bloody can. Okay. There you go. Right. A little bit further to the left. It's a bit of a dead end, and I, I don't think I can move this one, unfortunately, but we should be able to now move this up. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, if I just raise that up, move the one at the bottom, then maybe move that one down again. Yeah, okay. I think... <laughs> I think that's gonna be it. Like so, yeah. So, can't move that. Yeah. Is that it? I, I think... I think we've done enough. Okay, we're going through. Is that light at the end of the tunnel? Oh, okay, we've made it to the other side. Okay, we... To the oats. We just knocked the oats down. Was that it? Really? We need the oats that bad? 
Okay. Well done. Thanks. Inside there are small flakes of something. Oats. Yeah, I think this is for eating, but I can't do that. Okay, we've got another empty box, so this this is how I'm gonna house the beetle, probably. Well, there you go. Okay, well that was that. Now now, were there any other holes? There might be one here. Ah, there is. Marvin the Marble, coming in very handy here. Okay. So is it going to be a similar kind of thing? Uh, which way do I go? Not that way, apparently. <laughs> is this going to turn into a bit of a maze? Not that way. Okay, round here to the right. Uh-huh. All right. Let's go around this way. Now, oh, there's a little bit of an opening here. Oh, oh okay, right. It, hmm. Okay, well, I guess we're not going that way. Let's go around clockwise, around this big ring. Oh, there's another handle here. Ah, ah, okay. Uh, I'm going to need to probably, I don't know, leave it there. Oh, right on the money! Oh, this is great. <laughs> Best try. Okay, and look at that. Straight out to the other side. <laughs> I like this. Yeah, I like this new gameplay dynamic. This is fun. Are we going over to the right here? So this is going to take us round to... Here, which we can just about squeeze through. All right, yeah. If I just keep on pushing this, I should be able to get to the other opening. Uh huh. There you go. All right. So we go in a little bit deeper. We'll just go over this, can we? Okay. Good. Good. So it was all to get to that. What was that? A glowing marble? An orb? That was... What did I just put in my head? A, a bug egg! Okay. I found it in the greenhouse garden. There's something moving inside it. Separating does nothing, unfortunately. Okay. But... Okay. Does this bug egg want oats? I can't put it in the box. This bug egg. Is it going to be a beetle? Looks like there's something in there. Hmm. I've got so many items, I just don't know what to do with them. Right, where else? Where else have I seen a hole? The hole in the tree? The hole in the tree! Yes, okay. That's one of them. Okay, here we go again. Alright. Rolling around at the speed of sound. We're gonna go this way, I think. No, no, okay, we're not gonna go that way. And we're not gonna go that way either. Okay. <laughs> Here? Nope, that's another dead end. Okay, this actually is a bit of a maze, isn't it? Okay, going left didn't seem to work. Maybe going right? Nope, okay. Around here? Okay, bit of an open area here. Oh. Alright, what we got here? Conkers? Chestnut? Something like that? Ah, uh, have I just blocked myself in? Oh no, hang on. There we go. There we go. Let's just, yeah, roll them out of the way, and we're through. Okay. There's a few obstacles in the way every single time, but nothing that I, I can't deal with. Oh, there you go. I can, I can push against this, but it does come back, unfortunately. I can push and I can't pull. Um, right, hold on. If I push you up there... Are you gonna... Are you gonna wedge that open for me? Oh, come on. There we go. Like that? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Oh god, it's gonna happen again. It is happening again, isn't it? Ah, uh, is that where I need to go? To the right? Okay, are we looking for another one? Okay, there is another one over here. Okay, so I've got this to play with. 
but I want that... I think I want that up here. Can we take it up here? Oh, there's another one too. Okay, alright, hold on. Let's grab this. Roll it all the way over there. Looks like a uh, looks like a big onion, doesn't it? But it's actually very small. Okay, that's not going to work. Not by itself, which is maybe why there's two here. <laughs> what a silly game this is! I'm really enjoying it though. Yeah. Okay, come on. Yeah, the puzzles are very, very creative with the use of magic and alchemy and stuff like that. Oh, okay. if we if I can just wedge that in. They Yes. 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 That's it. That's it. That should be enough. That should be a big enough opening for me to go through. Right? Oh, oh, just about. Just about. Okay, right. What have we got then? Where's this going to take us? She did mention a treehouse, didn't she? Another one, unfortunately. Right, so yeah, maybe this is the tree to the treehouse. Okay, I think... Yeah, I need to... I need to push that up there. There's one, there's one. Okay, if I wedge that really, really close to where it's pinned in the middle, that might do it. Up here? Getting... Ah, uh, that's too much force. I don't think it can squeeze in like I could. Right, so that's going to go there. And still get knocked. Is there another one around here? I don't want to go that way. Or do I? Maybe I don't want to go this way. Wait a minute, wait, I didn't... Ah, that's why there's a spare! Okay. <laughs> I kind of love this game. There you go, can it... Yeah, yeah, we can get it on through. Brilliant, okay, you're going to help me out a great deal. Come with me. Okay, just need to roll you this way. I have a horrible feeling that I'm going to put this into a corner. I'm going to sort of soft lock myself, you know? It hasn't happened yet. Go on, get in there, get, get, go on, down, that's it. Is that enough? Let's, let's see. If we need to get three, that might be a problem. Oh no, that works, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. And we've made it to the other end. Where is the other end? This must be the treehouse. Ah, okay. Got another dream catcher. This one I don't want to pick up. Okay, there's a uh, a slingshot, a catapult. Okay, it, yeah, it's a piece of wood with a strip of rubber attached. <laughs> Do we combine it with this? No. Although, honestly, I had the right idea. Now I can launch the shiny stone. I can launch the gemstone. Don't know if I want to, but I can. So we got a door here as well? Alright. Huh. Beetle Oasis 3000. Welcome, Beetle Lover. Congratulations on your new Beetle Oasis 3000. This handbook includes everything you need to know to take your first steps in breeding beetles. Right. Lands of Truth. Okay. It seems like this time, it's not really working. But, okay. Beetle eggs are very tough and take a long time to hatch, and will only do so at high temperatures. Larvae need a medium temperature to develop properly. Okay, as soon as one hatches, it'll be very hungry, which means that if it doesn't have food, it will die soon after. Little beetle larvae like to eat oat oats with honey. I've got the oats, and I assume those bees have the honey. Okay. Lava food can attract parasites, bad bugs, that can attack your lava. To get rid of them, increase the temperature until they're dead. But remember to return to a medium temperature to continue with the development of your lava. Right. When it's a pupa, uh, on, the, on the outside it's robust, on the inside it's fragile and sensitive. So adjust the temperature as necessary. If it's happy and comfortable, it'll keep growing. If you've done everything correctly, after a while, a beautiful adult beetle will be born. That marks the end of the breeding process. 
remove your beetle from the hatchery as soon as possible because this is the shortest stage of its life. Okay, okay. So is that what I saw in here? Okay, what else have we got? This is it, this is the comic. Marvin the Marble. So yeah, this is what Clem and her mum used to read. There's a QR code down there. I wonder what that leads to. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna find out. <laughs> it seems to be a little comic strip from Marvin the Marble. There you go, I'll see if I can put that in the video for you. Right. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that means I don't have to go through that maze getting up and down from here. Right, we're gonna need the honey as well, right? Maybe? Right! Okay. The honey seems to be dripping out from it, but it's not dripping its way down here, is it? Um, hmm. So... I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna teleport down. It's gonna be dripping to, you know, somewhere near the tree, isn't it? We just need to go outside and see if we can collect it, I suppose. I've got the oats ready. Somewhere over here? There it is! Look at that! Um... No, okay, I don't put the oats straight in. One of these two? Oh, that's what the perfume bottle's for! To collect the honey! Okay. How much do we want? Thank you, Clem. Right, I guess that's enough. So, yeah, I filled the bottle with that strange, sticky, orange-coloured thing. So, let's see. Okay, I've got oats with honey. Now the little food flakes are sticky. Just how this bug egg is going to like them. Right. Okay. Should we see if we can grow this thing? I think we should see if we can grow this thing. Back up here. Okay. Here we are then. Right. Left control. Is that... I think that's essentially like a reset. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so we need to add that to the side, sure. Um, you want to go in there, of course. Uh, is that it? I, I guess that's it. So, yeah. Oh, perfect. I've condensed it down to a, a, a much easier version to read. So the egg needs high temperature. Okay. Okay. So, high temperature it is. Oh, okay. We're just going to leave it there for a bit. Uh, yeah, okay. So, it's in its lava stage now. It grows at a medium temperature. Uh, there might be parasites that I need to kill with heat, but medium temperature like this. There you go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Got him. <laughs> okay. Ah, 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 ah. There you go. Oh, okay, now it's in its pupa stage. It can be cold or it can be hot. Bury the temperature until it becomes an adult. Okay, so not in the middle? Okay, we're just gonna go with heat. We're gonna heat this bad boy up. Is it? Okay, it is doing something, it's growing. I think it's also sweating. I think I'm cooking it. And now I'm freezing it? God. Okay, maybe a moderate temperature is best. <laughs> uh, cold? Okay, now it's now it's working and it's not freezing. It's growing! Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, heat. We need heat. There you go. There was too much ice around it. Yeah? I think it grew a little bit bigger there. Okay, no. Cool it down. <laughs> there you go! Okay! Right, so... I need to remove it quickly. Take it to the woods or a garden, or, or not. Yeah, uh, because we're going to get it straight to her, aren't we? 
Put it in the box. There you go. <sighs> yeah, it's mine. Until it's yours. And it's going to be yours very, very soon. I'm sorry, Mr. Beetle. I'm so sorry. I don't know what she's doing to you, but I don't think it's going to be good. Wow, okay, that was that was the hardest one so far. Definitely. Okay. Right, here it is. Oh, look at him, he's trying to crawl out the box. I don't blame him either. So there's one more that I need to get? One more, okay. Bring me hope. 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 You want hope. Okay. Right. This is gonna be the last one as well, so probably probably the hardest of the lot. Hope. Let's take a quick look. Where is that? Across from beauty. A firefly. Yeah, okay. I think the firefly is my favorite insect. I love watching them at night when we're practicing our arcane symbols by the fire and our teacher tells us scary tales of rituals gone wrong. Okay. Uh, this might be this might be easier to find if it was at night. I don't know if it is though. Nah, it seems like the sun's still shining. Although, maybe again we should start outside. So yeah, back to the lobby, back to the garden. Maybe I can just pick this one up, that'd be nice. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. I've been seeing you every single time. Did you- you just boarded up the fucking door, right. Well, that's gonna be a real problem. How the hell do I get to her? Like, genuinely, how do I get to her? Hmm. Okay, right. The initial plan was to just go outside and have a little look around, right? Let's see. No, nothing's changed. It's not going to be as easy as just plucking out the firefly. <sighs> okay, well, we're inside. Let's start going through these rooms. Let's start with this one on the right. Oh, that little cover's gone now. Marvin the Marble? Yep, Marvin the Marble again. Okay, we're going in. Right. Okay, so... Where's this gonna take us? To another room? Another secret room? It's... It's taking me to a door. Is this gonna be like a drain or something? I don't... <laughs> hmm... Some sort of vent system, I suppose. Okay... Which way do I go? Oh, I don't know which one to choose, honestly. Oh, I, ca I can't go that way? Oh, alright. Is it because they're facing the wrong way? Okay, this works. But I can't go right? No, I can't go right, but I could go to the left or I could go up. Right. This way? No. No, the other way. Oh, if I go over there... <laughs> Maybe that's where I need to go. Maybe that's what I'm aiming for. Right again? Down. Right. Right again, potentially. Let's go right again. Up. Uh, up again. Okay, we've got the same problem here, but if I go left, and left again, and then up. Yes, there you go. And do these all connect to the same place? Or oh, was that it? Well, that was a lot shorter than the others. All right. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. This is the boarded up door. I'm just on the other side, so the mum, the mum's lab is... Yeah, she's in there. Right, so upstairs to like an attic? We've got a loft here? 
and another homunculi, I guess. Oh, there you go. Look, it's me. Well, actually, look at this. Oh god, okay, yeah. This is definitely going to be the most complicated, isn't it? We're missing... Okay, well, we need to tape those wires up, I think. Is that a bulb? Something goes in that slot as well. And then we can flick these back and forth, disabling, enabling. Bloody hell. Have I got any of that? <laughs> I don't think so. I've had some of these for so long. Like, what do I what do I do with the pencil? What do I do with the boot and the screwdriver? What else have we got here? Okay, this case. Oh, okay, right. Oh, bloody hell, this is gonna be awkward. Are they all they're all gonna move? There you go, it slipped into place. Opening the case and oh this is this is the hat? Right, I was wondering about that. Okay, this is a hat of memories. The top hat is so cool. Soon you'll see. Will I? Okay. So what does this do? Sometimes I'd like to travel to the past. I don't think I'll ever be able to, but thanks to alchemy, I've achieved something similar. A few months ago, my dad gave me a magic set. Nearly all the tricks were using cards, a handkerchief, or waving a wand that didn't actually do anything. I was bored with it straight away, but that wasn't dad's fault. At least he tried. What I did like, though, was the cool top hat that came with it. The top hat didn't do anything either, but with one of my spells, I transformed it into the Hat of Memories. With it, I can recall my own memories or someone else's and bring objects from that memory into the present using a ritual called Reclamation. Pretty cool, right? First thing to do is to put the top hat on. If there's a memory close by, you'll see an illuminated shape. That shape is the energy of a memory trapped in the form of an associated object. When you put the associated object on top of the illuminated shape, the energy from the memory will be released and the reclamation ritual will begin. To complete it, you have to continue to vary the shape of the energy as the ritual demands. If you do the ritual well, at the end, you'll discover the memory and another important object from the past will make its way to the present. Equivalent exchange. Right, again, a full Metal Alchemist reference. Left shift to use. Okay. Right. Okay, so I'm... I'm wearing the hat and something is illuminated. Something that shouldn't be there. Okay. Is it the pencil? No. Hmm. What could it be? It's not the screwdriver. Maybe it's something that I haven't found yet. Okay. Oh boy. Mum and I have invented a new thing. For now, we're calling it the Firefly Trapper. But we need to think of a cooler name, because that one's a bit rubbish. The Firefly Trapper is a device which is used to make a light bulb turn on and off like a firefly's bum. Mum knows loads about bugs, and she says that fireflies really like flashing lights. That means that with our invention, we'll be able to make fireflies come to our house whenever we want. It'll be great for when there's a power cut. The coolest thing, though, is that if we make the light bulb go on and off exactly like a firefly, then they'll come really close, and we'll be able to trap one to use as a lamp. Only for a little while. After, we'll have to release it so it can go back to its friends. Oh, I wish I had friends like the fireflies. Anyway, I can't be sad because then Dad gets sad and I don't like that. Just as well, Mum's always there to brighten the mood. Mum is my, not only, but best friend. And I don't need any more. Well, you might when she dies. Right, so... There's a bulb there, a battery. We've got the switches there. The recipient. So we're missing the bulb, recipient, and the battery. We don't need to fix the wires like I thought. Bloody hell. And that's this thing over here. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I'll need to come back a little bit later, I suppose. Let's activate that. Um, over to the right. Any homunculi in here? Oh. Oh, hang on. Oh wait, is that what I used with the, the slingshot catapult thing? Is that gemstone, isn't it? I think this stone smashed the window glass. It wasn't me. I, I, <laughs> I think it may have been. That- Oh, you know, that was originally on the pencil. Can we put it back? Yes! Yes, because that, that shape did look like the pencil, but it was, you know, slightly rounded, wasn't it? So there's no one hiding here? Wait, ho hold on. Okay, I don't see any memories or anything in here either. No reclamations. 
Okay, so we're back here. That's got to be the pencil, hasn't it? Okay, now it's working! Oh god. Oh, what the hell? Hold to shape. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, so if you hold W, it's like a... It's that. Okay, so we just gotta get the right shape. Nice. Yeah? Hey! Okay, so it's Clem and her mother working on this Firefly Trapper. Alright, I don't think it was that easy. <laughs> oh! We've actually brought a Firefly from the past. Okay, I- right. Is that just gonna stay there then? Wait right there. I'm gonna go see if I can find some things to lure you down so I can capture you and put you in some sort of weird experiment, alright? All right, Clem, all right. God, why am I doing this? <laughs> I suppose that's my only purpose, isn't it? Doesn't look like there's anything here, but I feel like we should probably recheck everywhere, just in case, you know? We've explored a, a great deal of this place. Let's just go from the bottom up, right? So we're gonna start in the sort of sanctuary area, the greenhouse. Let's see what we find. In here? Okay, put the hat on. Oh! Okay, there, there is actually something here! Ah, that's what that's for? Okay. Oh boy, yep, okay, that works. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright. He knows that she's dying. She's using a cane. And there it is. Okay, I'm gonna take that with me. A wooden pole, it's quite long. It only just fits in my head. Yeah, okay. Can we separate it? No, no, okay. Right, well that's not gonna be part of the Firefly Trapper, but maybe that's gonna get used somewhere else. The shed? All oh, right. Oh, okay. Oh, the, sc the screwdriver. I've been carrying this around for such a long time now. There you go. There you are. Right. It's like another version of me. Prying it open. That's why the screwdriver was down there. That's why it was broken. Ah. That? Was that? That's the battery, and it's heavy for how small it is, but that is part of the Firefly Trapper, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Mm -mm. Anything in the study? There might be. Just lock myself in, haven't I? Yeah. Oh, you know, there is. There is. Hold on. Here we go. Uh, that'll be the Dreamcatcher. Oh, just in the nick of time. There you go. Water droplet. Cross. There you go. Nice. Did that one first try. Okay. This is her reading her dad's encyclopedias at night, I guess. That's why she's using the bulb. The bulb, which have actually just transferred to the present. The bulb, again, I think he's going to be part of this Firefly Trapper. Good stuff, right? Yeah. So we've got two pieces, we're just looking for one more, the, the big one, really, the um... Mm -mm. Oh yeah, we can't go that way, can we? Uh, we might need to go to the dungeon, so, right, I, <laughs> I think I need to do this again. No, nothing seems out of place here. Let's try the bedroom. Oh, oh! I don't even need to use the hat here, what is that, a safe? Okay, what the... Right. Uh, so was that? Three, four, five? Six? Okay, so we just need to complete the sequence, do we? 
Twenty. Okay. Um. So what? Seven, five, three, one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. One, two. One, two, and four. Uh, no? Ah, oh, was it six? Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna keep going through different different versions of this. Okay, so that was just backwards. That was a seven, six, five, four. Up, up. One, one, two. One, one, two, two. One and one make two. Two and one make three. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. All right. It seems like there were different variations there, but I got a couple of easy ones. All right. Is this it? Is this what I've been searching for? The jewelry box? It would be useful for storing important things. It's made of glass and metal. Do you think it would be useful for storing fireflies? That's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm wondering. And you know what? I I don't think I'm going to be wondering too much more. Let's go back up here. It feels like I've searched everywhere with the hat at this point. I think at this point we need to go and trap that firefly. Okay. So, let's see. Right, so... Yeah, it's the perfect size. The bulb slots right in. In goes the battery. Okay. So, it's just gonna keep going through the sequence automatically. And we just need to match it up with the fireflies. Oh boy, okay, this is gonna take me a little while. Oh, is that it? I think that's it. Nice. Okay. And now I've trapped it. I've deceived it. I feel bad, honestly. But there you go. This is the final one. Right. Not too far to go either. Just down here. And then straight into Mum's lab. Oh, jeez. Shut the fuck up, Clem. You don't deserve any of this. Not for the way you're treating me. Yeah. You've done really well. Now there's just one more thing. Yeah? Take your five attributes and put them in the place. Okay. I'll be right back. You'll be right back, will you? <laughs> no. I've been following your instructions so far, I suppose. Why stop now? Okay. And here we are. Let's see then. Oh wow. Oh god, this is complex, isn't it? Um This is this is what you see at the very beginning of the notebook, isn't it? Um yeah, if I just go all the way back here. Oh yeah, that's it. That's it right there. Funnily enough, I think those symbols those five in a sort of star formation, are the ones that we need. So yeah, determination, strength, intelligence, beauty and hope. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's probably the arrangement that we need, but I, I don't know about all the other stuff. Okay. Let's see then. Okay, here we go. We're just going to take all of these, I suppose. Two more. Okay. And just put them down here. Okay, so again, let's just check. It looks like it's determination at the top. So that's going to be snail. Um, strength, that's beetle to its left. Intelligence, spider, hope. Okay, got ya, got ya, okay. There's the snail. This is where the beetle's gonna go. 
and there's intelligence, which is the spider. And then it was beauty and hope, I believe, so it should be beauty there, the butterfly, and hope, the firefly, there. Okay? Stand in the center. Do I need to? I'm proud of you, 37. You've been very obedient. Thank you. That's a mum's pendant, right? Guys, I'm thinking that this might not have been a good idea. I'm thinking that the other homunculus might have been trying to protect me. Well, something is happening. Whether it's something good, I, I don't know. Oh? I had such a great time. But I promise I won't leave you ever again. Oh? What do you think? Are you happy? I don't know, am I? Please, don't leave me alone. Mom. Oh, God. So she's just trying to recreate her mum? Oh wow, that is a that is a very dark ending, and I assume that is the ending, right? I don't know if it was, because now it seems like we're going to be waking up again. Maybe is another homunculus? Maybe this is the next one in the series, this is going to be 38? And we're back in control again. Strange. Right, I've got the Firefly, and I've got... Right, okay. We're getting given another chance, I think. There must be something else we can do. There must be something else we can do. Maybe there's somewhere else I can use that stick, that, that walking cane, right? Hmm. Curious. Right, so here we are again. Oh, it's there! That's where I use it? Okay, right, <laughs> I must have looked around the house for 10, 20 minutes, but yeah, okay, here we are, here we are. Oh, bloody hell, which one was that? Oh jeez, oh jeez. That one, okay, yep. Got it. Oh, oh bloody hell, this one, okay. <laughs> that was a tough one. Oh, and there's mum. She doesn't look too good, does she? Oh dear. Is that her dying right there? Okay, so this is what I reclaim. Looks like a couple of a couple of pages. Hello, darling. Did you have a good time at camp? No doubt you've learned so many things about alchemy and insects. Which I can't wait for you to tell me all about, okay? But before you do, I need to tell you something. I'm sure you're asking yourself, where's mum? Well, you'll have noticed... And that's where it ends, until we use the lens of truth. Alright. There's another one? There's another one here. Oh! What are you doing? Oh, hold on. What is that? You'll have noticed that over the last few months I haven't been feeling well, and I've been getting more and more tired. The truth is that I've been sick, and although I've tried everything to get better, in the end I wasn't able to. But you don't need to worry, and you know why? Do you remember that time you explained to me that in alchemy people are made up of body and soul? Well, what's happened is that my body no longer exists, but that doesn't matter because now my soul is with you. And that's why, as long as I'm in your thoughts, and although my body is no longer there, I'll always be by your side, and I'll never leave you. Who would have thought it? Now I know alchemy too. If you want to see me or hear me, all you have to do is close your eyes and think of me. Then you'll remember all those special moments that we've shared together. Like reading our favourite comic every night until you fell asleep. Or that time we helped your dad trample grapes and our feet were dyed blue. 
or that summer holiday when we built the treehouse. Beautiful memories that we'll never forget. And you know what the best part is? That you've got so much more life to live, so you can keep making new memories just as wonderful as ours, or even better. As you grow, you'll meet new people to have fun with. You'll learn and become all that you want to be. Believe in yourself like you have up to now, and everything will be fine. You'll see. By the way, I know that your dad can be stubborn, but you know he loves you just as much as I do. He's going to need your help now because there'll be times when he's sad too. I know that you'll know how to help him because you know what? He can see me too if he closes his eyes, even if he doesn't know it yet. Tell him, and that way all three of us can be together. Okay? I'm sorry that I wasn't able to wait until you got back to tell you all this. I suppose I should have told you before, but I never thought it would end up being necessary. You've always been a smart and good girl, so I'm convinced that sooner or later you'll understand, and will find it in you to forgive me. If at some point you're sad or angry because of what's happened and you need to cry or shout, do it without fear. It's okay. With the passage of time, little by little, you'll start to feel better. I promise. Clem, don't forget that I'll always, always, always be with you, at your side. Caring for you and holding you tight. You're the sweetest little bug in the world, my little bug. I love you so much, Mum. Wow. Okay, it's it's space to forgive. Space to forgive. All right. Surely this is going to lead to a better ending. And there you go. Now the credits are rolling. That was the proper ending. The good ending to Clem. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, all right? Did you enjoy this one? I did. I thought it was a, a very good puzzle adventure game overall. I love the art style and I love the music. The puzzles themselves were a real challenge. I like the story as well. As sad as it was all about loss, it was also about hope and moving on and yeah. I certainly like the good ending better than the bad ending. That was Clem everyone. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hopefully, you know, I haven't been summoned to do the washing up. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know you need beauty. I don't have it yet. Okay, I've I've just started. It was a year ago that I played the game. Leave me alone, all right? And hello, who are you? You're a puzzle. Okay. <laughs> Before I forget, I who is that? All right, all right. How about saying please? Just a thought. There's ones in the corner and then... That's it. Henry? Did... Don't look away from me. I saw you looking. Oh, did... <laughs> I suppose we're going to use that container, can't we? We're... You know what? There might be a spider in the bath. This might be a really easy one. No? <laughs> Bugger. Okay. Okay.
Did you see that shadow? That, uh, hang on, there's someone outside. Can we change this? Nope. Oh boy, okay. Um, the water bill isn't gonna be great. <laughs> wow, okay, that looked pretty cool. So inside... Dad? What are you doing there? Oh boy. Oh boy. Every time I get the Lens of Truth out, I kind of regret it. <laughs> We've got the second one. I get it. Okay. God damn. <laughs> Go on. Get in there. Get. Get. Go on. Is it? Okay. It is doing something. It's growing. I think it's also sweating. I think I'm cooking it. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. This is definitely going to be the most complicated, isn't it? I think this stone smashed the window glass. It wasn't me. I, I, <laughs> I think it may have been. Nice. Okay. And now I've trapped it. I've deceived it. I feel bad, honestly. Oh, jeez. Shut the fuck up, Clem. You don't deserve any of this. Okay. Oh, God. 